Dope Boy TV gang, man, stand up, man. I need y'all to like this video. Make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check the description for it. You already know how we stepping out here, man. We ain't ducking nothing. We got the topics on the flow for today's video. Nigga in the ghetto, they got money, they got opportunity to help the niggas around you. Nigga, each one, teach one. Why would I not share and show the world? Hey, yeah, it's real street niggas, real gangsters, real players, real pimps that believe in spending their money on another black man. It's not my mama's son, it's not my mama's child. Why would I not do that? Because you don't want to see nobody up. You don't want to help nobody win. You want to see everybody fall. You want to. Okay, man, I really ain't spoke on it lately. But Little Vin and Peso Peso been going at it. So Little Vin is really going at Peso Peso, calling him basically, quote unquote, a white boy and not a real Mexican. And he's saying, man, you can't speak Spanish. He's been going at everybody like, man, Sauce Walker, your sugar daddy, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And, it, and, it, and it's getting to the point where they supposed to be fighting. You feel me? They supposed to be throwing them hands. You feel me? Get, getting in the ring. Like, I feel like if anybody Sauce Walker, since he's such a sugar daddy and everybody want to call him this, he should put them in, in the ring. You get what I'm saying? And let them fight. And at the end of the day, you feel me? Who y'all think going to win that fight? Because Peso Peso showed everybody how he going to come if they got a box. You feel me? He's showing everybody how he going to come. He he kind of trying to, like, get off of him. He been saying he not going to speak on it. He not going to um, give Lil Vin no more clout. Because at the end of the day, if you look at the numbers, Peso Peso surpassed Lil Vin. And he, uh, he get more numbers than him. But Lil Vin jumped on his line he supposed to be from you know fort worth dallas area you know texas and he um rocking with murder gang pb and he, you know he 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 got ytm and you know it's ytn and you know it's crazy to me because it's so similar to ytn and ytm and you know they seem like they clicked up and everything he even got murder i feel like Murder Gang PB didn't even stand up for Goyeo, but he's standing up for Lil Vent, though, which is crazy to me, but that's just my opinion, you feel me? Because he was more like, you know, I, I feel like he said he wasn't, he don't got no problems with uh, Sauce. He said it, he went to whoop de whoop but he still dropped a diss song like he said he was going to do. But he got another song coming with Lil Vent, and it, it looked like it's a diss song at Peso Peso, so you technically still going at TSF, and... One thing I really wanted to cover in this video is the sugar daddy thing. Like, people need to stop calling Sauce a sugar daddy. He's not a sugar daddy. Can he be qualified as a real OG? Like, a lot of people, like, man, everybody want to say this is that about this man, but y'all be the same people like, man, people don't put money in my pocket. I had to do it on my own, 10 toes and this and that, and want to talk about this hard struggle y'all had to go through when this man is helping people better their lives, helping people get money, helping people really succeed in life you get what i'm saying and, and showing them that it ain't only one way to win so how can he be called like because he buying his home like that's some real that's some real nigga shit let's be honest but hating people gonna say what they want to say when he really doing some boss stuff and being a boss and you know putting on his team like if you go to a if you go work at a regular nine to five you feel me you get a good enough one yo 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 um boss gonna give you raises and bonuses and things of that nature he just Playing his, playing his role and, and putting his niggas on, man. Showing them what they can get so they can hustle harder, man. Because they going to see it. You get what I'm saying? They can see it and they going to have it. Straight up. I just feel like people really be getting at that man's sauce when he actually a trendsetter and showing people how to put on for their team. Like Lil Baby doing the same. All these rappers doing the same thing. But when his sauce is just a little bit, y'all just want to, you know, knock him down for it. But I don't know how everybody feel about this situation with Lil Vent, Peso Peso, TSF, YTN, Murder Gang, Go Yayo. Like, how y'all feel this situation going to happen? You think Peso Peso going to fight Lil Vent? We still could get that Go Yayo, Sauce Walker. We still could get that, you know, Murder Gang and, um, I don't know, Sauce Sancho or something. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation down in the comments. And if you rock it with me, subscribe. If not, kick rocks. It's your boy, Dope Boy TV. Y'all better hit me with a mother like.